Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make an offline Bitcoin paper wallet printer. Super, super seamless. Uh, as you can see right here, it's printing one currently. Uh, you don't need any internet for this. This is all done on the computer itself. Uh, it's not connected to the internet, generates its own keys. And as you can see, it prints out the public key and the private key um, really, really quickly. So this is all generated um, using Linux as well as the actual Bitcoin address um, paper wallet HTML files, which we'll get into later. But yeah, this is a really good way to securely store your Bitcoin if you don't have a hardware wallet or if you want to gift someone Bitcoin because you could easily just send, you could preload this up and send it in the mail or give it as like a Christmas gift, something like that. But yeah, let's get into how this all works and how to set one up. Um, it's really, really simple, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna be using 99 uh, Bitcoins tutorial on this, but what we wanna do is scroll down. This is all gonna be in the description, by the way. We're gonna do the advanced way to create a paper wallet. And this just makes you have the ability to do all of this offline. So first thing we're going to want to do is download Ubuntu, which we can get from here. So go ahead and click download and wait for this to start. And this is not updated anymore. So instead of using uh, this imaging tool, we're going to be using Rufus, which you can download here. I already have this installed, so I'm not going to download it again, but you just click here and go ahead and download that. And we're also going to download bit address. This is the software that you're going to need to create your paper wallet. So we're just going to go ahead and click this link and it will download the zip file. And while this downloads, let's go ahead and grab a USB drive and plug it into our computer. All right. So now that everything is downloaded, we're going to go ahead and run Rufus and click yes. Wait for this to load up. And it automatically selected our 64 gigabyte USB drive. So we're gonna select Ubuntu as our operating system. Click open. And we're gonna go ahead and click start and write in ISO mode. And click okay, click okay again. This is gonna wipe everything on the drive. And it's gonna format it and then install the operating system and this will take a few minutes, so I'll be back once this is complete. All right, so now our USB drive is finished writing, so we're gonna copy this zip file right here over to our Ubuntu USB. And once it's over there, uh, we can go ahead and extract it. So I'm on Windows 11, so it's a little bit weird. But yeah, we're gonna let this extract and you can go ahead and delete the zip file. And now we can go ahead and eject our USB and head over to the computer now. All right, so now what we can do, now that we actually have um, our USB drive inside of our computer, we can go ahead and power this on and we're gonna wanna hit the BIOS key to boot into BIOS on your keyboard. In my case, it is F12, so I'm just gonna tap this until it boots up on my monitor. And this computer is pretty old, so it can take a while, kind of slow, but there we go. So now this is our boot menu. This isn't BIOS, it's just a like startup menu. So I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see this a little bit better. But you're gonna select your USB drive. So mine is gonna be on my USB HDD which is down here, and I'm gonna select UEFI SanDisk, because it's a SanDisk USB. So we're gonna go ahead and boot this up, and camera isn't really focusing that well, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click on Ubuntu. Uh, monitor went blank, because I have another computer plugged into this at the same time, but it looks like it automatically decided to boot up, maybe. Here, let me switch inputs. Yeah, it's it's old, so it switches around a lot, but 
All right, here we go. So it is currently doing disk checks. So I'll go ahead and let this run. You don't have to, if you don't want to, you can click uh, control C to skip file checks. I usually just let this run, um, but yeah, I'll be back once this is complete and then we will continue setting this up. All right, so now that Ubuntu is loaded, we want to run it is a live uh, USB. So we're gonna go ahead and click try instead of install because this way uh, nothing is actually gonna be on your hard drive. It's running off the USB itself, which is a lot more secure for this use case. So we're gonna go ahead and click try and it's gonna load up. It will take a little bit. And this is a single core um, CPU in this computer, so this is gonna take a while. So I will be back again. Okay, actually it didn't take that long. Uh, as soon as I turned my camera off, it loaded up. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make sure that our printer shows up. So you'll wanna have a printer plugged in with a wire into your PC. Um, you'll want to make sure it's one without internet or without a hard drive because that can cause a print queue where if someone were able to get access to it, they would be able to get your Bitcoin wallet. So make sure it's an offline printer. So you're gonna wanna go to settings and printers and it looks like Ubuntu already set mine up. So we are good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and hover over Firefox. You're gonna wanna right click and open a new private window. And since there's no internet, it won't be able to load up any web pages. So what we are going to do is type the following. Let me uh, get zoomed over here so you guys can read this better. Unfortunately, I don't have a capture card that will work on this PC because it uses really old display outputs. Okay, so we're gonna type file colon slash 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 cd-rom slash bitcoin or sorry not bitcoin bit address dot org dash master and we're gonna go ahead and click enter now this is the part of the USB where we actually extracted this file earlier. So now what we can go ahead and do is click bitaddress.org.html and you can move your mouse around like this. This is how it randomly generates your keys. So we're just gonna wave the mouse around until it goes all the way up to 100%. You can also click this box and type random characters to speed up this process. So we're just gonna keep going, type random stuff, move the mouse around until it hits 100%, which it just did now. And now it is going to generate your wallet. And if you want a nicer looking wallet than this, just go ahead and click on paper wallet and it will give you this nice layout. But uh, we can change how many we want. So if I wanted to print out one, I can go ahead and click generate and it will generate a new Bitcoin wallet. Um, what I recommend if you want this to be more secure is BIP38 encrypt. So you can go ahead and encrypt this. So I'll just make a password really quick. All right, so that's gonna be my password. It's gonna be subscribe with an exclamation mark. And I'm gonna go ahead and click generate. And this will take a little bit longer than generating a normal one. And I will actually load this address up with some Bitcoin. So stay tuned till the end of the video where I show you how to redeem this if you want to claim this before anyone else can. So it's going to load up. I'll be back once that is done. Oh, it's already done. Okay. So I only want one to be loaded up. So this is going to be the one that is going to be available to claim. All right, so this is gonna be the address. There's the public key and the private key. And now we can go ahead and click on print. Select our printer and hit print again. 
And now we just wait for our printer to turn on and print this out, which it is doing right now. So if I move this down here, you can see our printer prints out our new Bitcoin wallet. So how cool is that? Completely offline Bitcoin wallet generator and printer. So you can send and receive funds to the public key. And when you want to spend them, you can load it up in a web wallet like Electrum, or not a web wallet, sorry, desktop wallet, but you can uh, scan that in, type in. My camera ended up dying, but yeah, you can uh, scan in your private key and type in your password to sweep the funds off the wallet and spend them. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that now. So let's cut over to my laptop again. All right, one quick thing I forgot to mention, if you have a Bitcoin wallet that you wanna keep secure, I recommend using tamper-proof stickers to hide the private key and sealing it up in a Ziploc bag uh, just to keep it watertight and then putting that in a safe just to keep uh, it completely out of the way from water damage or anything else but um yeah other than that let's continue the video okay so i have electrum opened you can get it from the link in the description so i'm going to import the wallet that you see on screen right now so what you do is you go to um wallet you hit private keys and hit sweep and you paste your private key. You can also turn on your camera, but I have my camera disabled. And now you go ahead and hit sweep. And this is the amount that the wallet has on it. And you can go ahead and click send. And it will sweep the funds into your wallet. As you can see, it says unconfirmed right here. This is about $25. It's in MBTC, which is fractional uh, Bitcoin. So yeah, this will uh, be added to our wallet balance and once it confirms, which usually takes around 10 minutes, you can click send and send it to any other address or you can keep it here, but I recommend sending it to like a hardware wallet or something like that if you wanna be the most secure about it. But um, yeah, that's about it for the video. So remember, uh, this right here on screen is the wallet that you guys can scan as a giveaway and get the funds off of. Um, it's around $25 that is on it right now, and the password is capital S subscribe with a exclamation mark as you can see on screen right now. That's the private key, that's the password. Um, have fun with it, I hope you learned something, and if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Really means a lot and helps out the channel, but other than that, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video.